And so uh, lifestyle diseases kills almost 40 million people around the world each uh, every year. And uh, that is equivalent to 70% of the deaths which is occurring every year. And today here at uh, in our program, health program segment, we are talking about uh, lifestyle diseases. We just want to know how are we going to prevent this kind of lifestyle diseases. And when we say lifestyle diseases, there are a lot of things we're talking about. Uh, there are various diseases which um, we call uh, lifestyle diseases. And thank you so much, uh, Greenview nursing home for hosting us and and for bringing us this program my name is Cynthia Terrell and if you are new here kindly subscribe turn on notification bell share and remember we are uh, across all digital platforms we are in Facebook we are in Twitter we are on Instagram and our handle is a challenging media so my name is Cynthia Terrell and today I'm with Penina who is uh, a nurse here at Greenview nursing home and I want to welcome her so that we can start a program together how are you I'm very fine, thank Welcome. you. Welcome. Say hi to the few viewers before we start the program. Hi everyone, uh, this is at Greenview Nursing Home. I'm Penina, uh, nurse at nursing, uh, Greenview Nursing Home. So today we were about to talk about the lifestyle diseases and how we can prevent and how we can control of all of them and how also we can treat them. Uh, what exactly uh, do we mean when we say uh, lifestyle diseases? So lifestyle diseases, these are diseases that can be prevented by the way we live or by the way we do certain things in our lives. So if we can follow a certain way or a healthy way of living, those diseases can be prevented. But if we divert uh, our health and we do whatever we want at whatever time we please, yeah. these diseases may, may come to us mm -hmm. and may, may be of harm to our bodies. There are things, there are many things that we should not be taking or we should not be doing. Mm -hmm. But since we are all all human beings, mm -hmm. most of the things that we are not supposed to do mm -hmm. is what we actually do, do yeah. in common. Mm -hmm. So these things tend to bring a negative effect and to and to our bodies. Yes. So this is what is causing the the diseases. Mm -hmm. yes. So I, uh, maybe you take us through some of the diseases which we can say these are lifestyle diseases because many people might be like, what are those kind of diseases? Oh, mm -hmm. so the most common ones I can say, let me say the most common ones at the moment, uh, what you can discuss are three of them. Yes. So there is a high, high blood pressure mm -hmm. and then there is diabetes mm -hmm. and then there is, um, okay, stress is a disease, mm -hmm. though most people mm -hmm. tend to think that stress is not a disease mm -hmm. because stress can lead to so many things actually. Okay. So let's say like the high blood pressure and the diabetes. Mm -hmm. So these are the these are diseases that tend to correlate okay. the two of them, mm -hmm. and they are most caused by the way that we we feed. So if we take a lot of fat, a lot of sugar, a lot mm -hmm. of salt, mm -hmm. these diseases will come. Let's say that like high blood pressure, there is uh, stress, there is. Uh, what again you can say there is diabetes things mm -hmm. like those mm -hmm. so those mostly are caused by the way that we eat the way that we live mm -hmm. so if we eat uh, we eat healthy and mm -hmm. we do exercises and we avoid those harmful things that we mm -hmm. we, we, are, we are taking un into our bodies mm -hmm. this, these diseases will be mm -hmm. prevented yep. mental health is a very important is a very important thing mm -hmm. concerning our bodies this is where everything the brain is what helps the body and everything yeah so let's say you have stress mm -hmm. somebody is giving you a little bit of stress or you yourself mm -hmm. you are indu you've induced some stress into, to your, yourself. into yourself mm -hmm. so this is something that will change the way you think the way you do your things maybe it will even make you become let's say a little bit uh, Inact and, and you will not be active at some point. Mm -hmm. So this inactivity, inactivity will cause poor feeding. Mm -hmm. And uh, if there is feeding at uh, if feeding at all, maybe mm -hmm. the person will go towards the foods that yeah. they can uh, get easily. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this is this will cause more of cholesterol build up in our bodies. Mm -hmm. After the cholesterol build up, you will tend to have the high mm -hmm. blood pressure because yes. the heart is tending to beat, but the veins are really small okay because of yeah. the build-up mm -hmm. so after the high blood pressure if it is not treated mm -hmm. the heart may fail mm -hmm. so this is something that will lead to series of organ failure in your body mm -hmm. and it was a, a, a small thing that could be have mm -hmm. solved and uh, it could have saved someone's yes. life okay yes. so, so how can someone know that maybe or how will you know that you know you have uh, this lifestyle disease at first you can say you can you 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 should always come for checkups mm -hmm. 
check up doing a check ups is, is always a very nice nice thing to do mm -hmm. so that you can keep track of your of mm -hmm. your health uh, and then we can track w whatever we are taking into our bodies yes. the food that we are taking mm -hmm. we know that fat is not a very mm -hmm. a very nice thing to take okay it's yeah. we can take it in mm -hmm. small portions mm -hmm. but if we take it in large amounts mm -hmm. it will cause mm -hmm. it will cause some of these diseases mm -hmm. and then we can also see alcohol consumption we can cut on that yeah. smoking we can cut on that and then mm -hmm. we can start with the uh, physical activities mm -hmm. you can m become more active in doing your daily activities Mm -hmm. maybe jogging around walking mm -hmm. around yeah that that can help mm -hmm. but if you see like um okay you you know yourself you take alcohol mm -hmm. you know yourself you, you are smoking or something mm -hmm. so someone someone like that is good to go and mm -hmm. do frequent checkups so okay. that you can keep track of of, the, of whatever that is happening into your bodies mm -hmm. and also you can opt for the minimizing of of the harmful things that you are mm. you are taking into your body. Okay. Yeah. Talking about exercise, I know some people are like nafa ku work out kiasi gani ama ku exercise kiasi gani ndio ni kuwa healthy ama ku kuto ndio nisipate this kind of lifestyle diseases. Some people can say I can wake up in the morning and then work out, work out in the evening I should work out for me to be healthy. Ni how, how often should someone work out or exercise to be healthy to be called now you are healthy? <laughs> okay, we can say you can. It's it's a matter of how how uh, the amount of activity mm -hmm. you are doing. Yes. So if someone, it also depends on the the type of work you are doing. Mm -hmm. So I cannot say that like somebody doing um construction work mm -hmm. then i tell the person to work out let me say like two hours mm -hmm. in the morning and two hours in the evening yes that will be overworking also okay. the body yes so you can most of the of the of the work that we do mm -hmm. the desk jobs mm -hmm. most of the people that do the desk yes, jobs offices, yeah. yes in the office jobs mm -hmm. those that sit for a long time those are the people that need to mm -hmm. work out more so you can either do your 30 minutes, maybe 30 minutes in the morning you are just jogging, then in the evening after work you just jog mm -hmm. and you also maintain the health habits of eating. eating yeah. Because you cannot work, uh, work out in the, mo in the morning, work out in the evening, then you go back to the house and eat unhealthy. That will be yes. of no use. Mm -hmm. But for somebody like, uh, for the construction workers, the amount of work they do mm -hmm. in the field mm -hmm. is is also is much more mm -hmm. than we we mm -hmm. sitting at the offices yeah. are doing okay so for the construction workers maybe just a jog okay but already they have done a lot yes, of work where yes. they are so, so they generally it depends on the kind of work, work you, are, you are doing yes and when uh, talking about uh, working out and then uh, heating you know I can say I'm heating chips today chicken and then I don't care because I'm going to work out anyway so <laughs> Now that is the the problem, and that is the the something that we do often that mm -hmm. we should not be doing. Yes. Because this working out, you can work out today. Mm -hmm. Because prior to this working, starting work, working out, I've been eating those kind of foods. Yes. yes? <laughs> so I'm trying to remove this mm -hmm. intoxify. I'm trying to remove this amount of fat in my body, uh -huh. but still you are adding it. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing that we are doing here. Yes. You can run in the morning, run uh -huh. in the evening, mm -hmm. then come and pile it up mm -hmm. again yeah you can say maybe i want to eat i i want to work out these some some of yeah. these days uh -huh. then there is a day i will eat only fats mm -hmm. the whole day yeah of which is it's not making sense to <laughs> yes to, to the, the working out and exercise and, 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 yeah. yeah and you know there's some people will be like you know especially ladies mm -hmm. they're like i don't want to get fat i don't want to to eat so so many uh, uh, food with calories or uh, with fats so me mistake kudona like i can eat fruits i can eat uh, light food kido kido is that healthy yeah it's healthy mm -hmm. considering the amount of calories you are you, you are, are taking. taking yeah so if let's say you take a okay breakfast is the most important meal in the mm -hmm. in the of the day mm -hmm. so let's say in the morning just wake up take your tea take your bread or anything mm -hmm. yeah. then lunch time you take a snack yeah and in the evening you also take a snack that's yeah. healthy 
but that's not healthy that's healthy that's healthy yes <laughs> yes but if you wake up in the morning mm -hmm. so you don't want to, to get fat mm -hmm. you just take let's say a fruit yes. one fruit mm -hmm. at lunch time one fruit yes in the evening one fruit mm -hmm. you see this one fruit has not is not going to to have all the the whatever the body wants yes it's so let's say like a banana it's only uh, the amount of calories that a banana has mm -hmm. Okay, it has calories, yes, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have fat, it mm -hmm. doesn't have some minerals which yes. you could have found in maybe, let's say, bread mm -hmm. or rice, something like that. Mm -hmm. So even if you are taking, you want to, to, to have a schedule or a, something that you can follow so that you cannot gain a lot of weight, yeah. you should as well try to incorporate other, other types of food so mm -hmm. that you can have proteins vitamins mm -hmm. carbohydrates okay. in your meal yes yeah so maybe you take it up huh, in yes. small portions okay uh. so less food also can make you sick yes <laughs> so <laughs> also a lot of food with a lot of calories can also make you uh, yes. sick so yeah. it's a matter of just the, the you moderate whatever you eat mm -hmm. if it's fat you moderate it don't eat much mm -hmm. if it's sugar mm -hmm. a little bit but if you also take higher higher thing uh, yeah. higher intake of something mm -hmm. it can be mm -hmm. of harm to your body okay and if you take a little your body needs more oh yeah so the body will mm -hmm. you know, yeah. so i know uh, this is a comprehensive uh, topic and i am sure uh, we are still going to talk about uh, uh, individual uh, diseases yeah. uh, of lifestyle uh -huh. maybe you can uh, give uh, the viewers before we wind up the program the advice on how they should mind their health what the uh, the consideration what are the important considerations they should take as far as their lifestyle is concerned so lifestyle comes in like i can say two parts mm -hmm. the part of your body your body and whatever you take in mm -hmm. and the part of your your mind so both of them play a very huge role in how you will live your mm -hmm. your, your life mm -hmm. so you can take care of your body very nicely but your mind mm -hmm. is is not okay that will also cause other kind of diseases yes. so it's good to to see whatever you are you, you are let's say whatever you are taking into your body mm -hmm. be mindful of, of whatever you take mm -hmm. if it's uh okay most of the things that we eat mm -hmm. as you when you see uh, the let's say ingredients or something mm -hmm. you can see whatever is is yeah. put into that that mm -hmm. type of food mm -hmm. even if it's cooking oil you mm -hmm. will see there cholesterol yeah and you know too much cholesterol is not a, is not good for your health yeah, it's if it's smoking the packet itself has been written do not uh, do not take it uh, excessively mm -hmm. so there are some things we should cut mm -hmm. when you are taking it into our bodies and uh, for the mental health mm -hmm. you should be able to talk out speak out whatever yeah. you feel mm -hmm. you can find somebody you can talk to in case you have anything in your mind mm -hmm. you want to express mm -hmm. so people should learn to express their feelings because these feelings when they bottle up mm -hmm. they will cause something else too yeah so you try try as much as possible to be open mm -hmm. to speak to others yeah, and also speak out. Mm -hmm. the the surrounding people around you mm -hmm. try also to Mm -hmm. to know how they are feeling whatever yeah. they want to speak about you can just listen to them mm -hmm. just listen to li listening to somebody can be something that okay this person wanted to get that off their chest mm -hmm. and when you listen to that person mm -hmm. that listening o only it amfanya a quite relaxed yeah yeah so mm -hmm. these are some things that we should be doing mm -hmm. so that you can prevent the chronic illnesses and chronic diseases mm -hmm. yeah thank you so much thank you. i hope our viewers are learning something because i am as well learning and thank you to our viewers because you've taken your time to watch this program and kindly subscribe if you are new and turn on notification bell because we are bring, uh, we are going to be bringing you this program every thursday of every week and thank you so much green uh green view nursing home for bringing us this program we are so privileged and thank you for hosting us always uh, you're welcome so my name is Cynthia Terrell until next time bye bye